So in this video, we are going to give you some updates on RV renovation. Now we've done two different renovations to our RV. The first major one we did about two years ago and the second one we did about a year ago. So we're gonna give you some updates and we're gonna go over, are the things that we did actually holding up with everyday use? And we're just gonna also give you an updated tour as well. So let's go check it out. So one of the first things that we did was to rip out all of the carpet. Now, when we did our first renovation, what we did on these steps was to just try to use some of the same rollout vinyl flooring on the steps, and that didn't work at all. So renovation phase two, we had Stuart who helped us with this put in the wood on these steps and this was a much much better solution and this has actually held up really really well over the last year with kids and dogs and everybody walking in and out so this was definitely one of those things that i'm super glad that we did and it's held up really really well so let's go inside So one of the next things that we had done as part of phase two of our renovation was we had a very large spot where our TV used to be. Now this is a 2004, so it is 18 years old. And when we first got it from the owners that had it, everything was 100% stock and original and it had the old tube style TV. So the area where that was, was just a big gaping hole. Cause of course we took that out. One of the first things that we did, we had that modified and made into a more usable space for things like storage. Ben puts a lot of his camera equipment there where we charge up all of our batteries. And so we just changed that up to be much more functional and to be able to use that space more efficiently. It used to have carpet, right? So we spent a ton of time ripping up carpet, ripping up padding, pulling staples out. And so what we did for the flooring, because we are not the most handiest of people, we put down a roll out sheet vinyl. Now here is one thing I will say about how this is held up. It's held up pretty well, but there's definitely some imperfections that are there in some places where as this slide has come in and out that we actually had some spots that have kind of worn through and it caught on this and ripped us a nice big hole here. So don't know if I would do the rollout sheet vinyl again if we were to start from scratch knowing what we know now would probably go with like one of those snap together plank floors but it's worked okay it's held up okay it just was a lot more difficult to work with than what we had originally thought so the next thing that we did was we needed better space for our kids and so we actually put these bunks in and we took out a couch. So there used to be a couch on both sides of the slides. So we took out that couch and we put in bunks so that our kids would have a place to sleep instead of sleeping on the couch. These mattresses are actually just foam mattresses that I got from Amazon and I cut them down to fit just a little bit. It didn't take a lot of modding, but I did have to do a little bit of modding to get those to fit the space well and they work perfectly. We're on the fence about adding curtains. The kids haven't really said that they want curtains. So many people have said, oh, you should put curtains for privacy. So I don't know, that may get added at some point. May not, we'll just have to see how it goes. All of this slide trim, this is all new. So all of this got pulled off and then replaced with this board instead, which is much more aesthetically pleasing. It really updated it. Now there used to be cabinets along this whole slide and we had to pull all of these cabinets out. And that's why you do see a little bit of these holes here. And those are things that we still need to repair. I've got the repair kit. I just haven't had the time. <laughs> Got rid of a ton of weight. So one thing, if you're renovating, you always have to be cognizant of is weight. We got rid of a ton of weight when we pulled everything out of this slide that was there. And so what we have here is significantly less weight than what we pulled out. This light fixture is just a household light fixture from Home Depot. So here is a tip. If you are renovating light fixtures, you can use a household light fixture, but the key is you have to get a 12 volt bulb. And so these bulbs that are in here are 12 volt bulbs from Amazon. We can put a link in the description below for this particular set. But if you do that, you can use 
like a household light fixture, which really opens up the possibilities. This is actually a dinette from Rec Pro. This is still the stock table that was here, but these benches are different. Now I have used crib sheets to cover the seats just to help protect mainly from our pets because we do keep our litter box underneath of this when we travel and we've got kitties with little claws. So I wanna make sure that we protect that. But this is the best part of this dinette that I absolutely love. So check this out. You just pull off the back seat cushion and then this flips up just like a piano bench and you have all of the storage that is underneath here. So even though we ripped out all of the overhead cabinets, I literally gained more storage because of this particular feature than I had with all of those overhead cabinets. Plus now I'm putting those heavier things down below not in a cabinet where it could potentially sag anyway. So better use of this space, but also a safer use of the space as well when it comes to storage. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is kind of our kitchen area. So one of the big things that we did was a pretty big modification in this particular area where we actually took out the propane stove and then did an install on this induction cooktop. So this induction cooktop from Fogati, you can actually just set it on the counter if you want to, but I wanted it integrated into the counter and had this cabinet put in here where we've got more storage space there. And this is just a more convenient way to cook for us. This is a microwave convection oven combo. So anything I need to use an oven for, I can use this job right here. Another mod that we made was installing the Max Air style fans. Now these are from E-Trailer and I absolutely love these particular fans just because of the ease of the settings. They're also very slimline and they work really, really well when you're boondocking to be able to just create some airflow. One of the things that we absolutely love about e-trailer is the ability to be able to call somebody up and talk to them and let them know what your specific year make and model of RV is. They can make sure that when you're ordering parts and they carry a ton of replacement parts by the way, you're getting the right part with the right fit and you don't have just that confusion of making sure that it's going to fit your specific application. They also have some really good tech support too. So if you're having trouble with install or whatever, you can give them a call and you can get support over the phone as you're going through the install process as well. So love e-trailer for all of those types of replacement parts. So this cabinet is one of my favorite things because we gained so much storage here. So this is actually like one of those, it's called Rev Shelf. This one came from Home Depot and it fit the space beautifully. And then because this is all like modified, this is not here factory, we were having a problem originally and this is where you do something reno wise and then it just doesn't pan out the way you thought it was going to pan out and you've got to make some changes on the fly. So when we would go around a corner, this is a little bit heavier and so this would be sliding open. So we installed these child safety locks from Amazon. These are nice because you can like turn them on and off. So they are on for travel days and off once that we're parked so that I don't have to keep disengaging them when I want to open this, but it stays closed when we take a corner. The other thing that we did is we did this backsplash. So this is just a peel and stick backsplash. Now this is actually held up really, really well. And our home base is in Florida. We are in high humidity situations very often with our rig. We've had no peeling or anything like that with this particular peel and stick backsplash. So this is a really good way. If you want to do something to your RV where you want to just give it a little bit of a facelift, you don't want to get super involved in tearing things out or painting walls, this peel and stick backsplash in a kitchen area or bathroom area, it's a really quick and easy way to give it a nice facelift and, and to just make things look more aesthetically pleasing. The cabinets were all sprayed. So the one thing that I'm really thankful for with having these cabinets sprayed is that they're sprayed on both sides. So when you open it up, you're not just seeing white on one side and then it's still the natural on the inside of the cabinet doors. It's white all the way around. Hardware was original. We reused the hardware. It looks great with what we've got there. Window film on this window here. So this was kind of one of those things where I'm like, why did they put a window there other than to just let air flow through? It had like these little mini blinds that were horrible. So we yanked those out, 
We just did this window film on this window for privacy. Still lets light in, but you can't see through it. And so it was a great way to just have that light still come in, but not have to worry about any sort of window covering that was either taking up space or making noise when we were going down the road. So one thing that we did that has held up pretty dang well are just these fridge panels. Now here's the deal, this is the original fridge. We do plan on switching this out at some point with a 12 volt fridge and we can talk about that more in another video. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed for future fun videos on those types of topics. But these panels in these Norcolds actually will slide out so you can take off off this trim on the side and slide these panels out to paint them and then slide them back in. So this white color is actually the second color that we have had. We originally did a gray color, decided we didn't like it, slid them back out, painted them white, slid them back in. So, and we could change up the color at any point as well. Really easy way if you have one of these types of Norcold fridge models, this is a really easy, quick thing that you can do that really just kind of makes it more bright. A quick and easy mod that pretty much anybody can do, and I feel like a lot of RVers do this. A lot of them have these like window valance, window boxes that are bolted to the wall. And so we took all of those out. That was one of the very first things that we did was to yank all of those out. And then we use these roller shades from Home Depot. So this is just a cut to fit roller shade. It was very inexpensive that way. It is a blackout shade and it works great. And because it's cut to fit, you just measure the space. You let Home Depot know this is the length that you want. And it's really easy to install. So this style roller shade is what we did throughout the RV on any windows that we needed window coverings. Very inexpensive way to mod your RV, but it looks so much more open on this wall when you don't have that window box. Another mod that we did that this is one of those things where you, you ask, how is it held up? And it's held up fairly well but that is this peel and stick wallpaper. So all of this on this slide is actually a peel and stick wallpaper. We have had just a few small corner areas that have peeled a little bit over the years, but we've been able to just use some adhesive to tack that back up where we've needed to, which we feel like in a big picture sense, it's held up pretty well considering that we do have a home base in a higher humidity area. We do tend to travel more in Florida than in other parts of the country or just I should say more in the south where the humidity can be a little bit higher. So overall this particular mod has held up pretty well. So this bathroom was actually one of the last things that we did when we updated everything. So the toilet that we have is actually from e-trailer. So it's the, like the ceramic where it feels more like it's a house toilet and not the horrible plastic RV toilet. So we painted in here, we took down a cabinet. Probably one of my favorite things that we did in here was there was a cabinet here that we removed and then I actually got these boxes from Hobby Lobby and then this kind of like organization system from Ikea. So this actually works great. It holds the same amount of stuff that the cabinet did, but it gives it a lot more of an open look in here. And then each of the kids kind of have like their own little cup from Ikea to put things like their toothbrushes and toothpaste and hairbrushes and all of that type of stuff in. And the best part is when it's time for a travel day, like I don't have to do anything because nothing's on the counter. It's all already in a bin and put up in a way. And so it keeps the counter clear, but it just makes things a little bit faster to pack up on those travel days as well. So one quick little mod that we did was installing this oxygenic shower head. So this is actually a mod that you could do to your RV this weekend if you wanted to. So we got this on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. Now I will say this has been so nice because <laughs> when we are boondocking, traditionally the water pressure when our water pump is running isn't the best, especially for showering. I can literally tell no difference now when we are hooked up to city water versus when the water pump is pumping the water in boondocking with the pressure in the shower head. It is exactly the same. So I'm super glad that we made that little upgrade and highly recommend it for any RVer because it's really cheap and really easy. 
So one of the things that we did in this back bedroom area, so we painted the walls white, which we did throughout the RV, and that has actually held up really, really well. Very thankful that we did that. These closet doors were just gigantic mirrors, and I really disliked them. I felt like it just really made the RV look much older and so we had these painted and this design put on them and I think it looks absolutely great and it gives it a more modern look. It's all repurposed so we didn't really get rid of anything we just used what was there and modified it and then all of the slide trim was replaced and then the cabinetry that is back here was all painted white so in here we have our washer dryer unit and then there was a TV in this space here. And this is again where we talk over and over about how RV manufacturers don't always think about like storage and space and the best use of that. There's this whole cavernous space that was unusable because it was behind the TV and it wasn't accessible. So we actually removed the TV and we have our printer sitting here, but we have so much space here that we can use to store things like blankets or pillows or really whatever we wanna store up here. And we just use that space as we need it for various times that we're out. But it gave us the space back. So little tip is as you're going through your RV, look for those kind of hidden spaces where maybe it's just a waste but you could use it for something. So one of the things that we did back here as well is this window that sits at the head of the bed. I am not a fan of having a window right at the head of the bed. Our first thought was, well, maybe we could actually just cover it up with like a wall, but here's the caveat. This is actually an emergency exit window. And so you obviously don't want to do anything from a safety standpoint. And so we have to have the window as it is for that emergency exit. So. What we did, because I didn't want any sort of curtain hanging where my head is as I'm trying to read a book at night or even trying to sleep, we put this window film on here. Now this is from Amazon. It was super easy to apply. This window film has been on here for two years. No issues at all. No peeling, no delamination, no fading. And if we need some of the light blocked, we do have a piece of Reflectix we can just put in here when we go to sleep at night, if we need things a little bit darker, depending upon the type of campground that we're staying at. So this was a mod that I am super thankful that we did. Would definitely do it again, and it's held up really, really well. So if you'd like to know more about step-by-step -step processes that we took with both phases of our renovation, I'm gonna leave a playlist right up here where we documented everything start to finish, and so you can take a look at more information there on what the process process was like. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.